So, just got done doing my quick little inspection. Just watching them come in and out. So, they have been bringing good chunks of pollen and you see a couple of them coming in and out with it. So, I won. This one's doing very well. I mean, they're, they're up in the, they're upper here. <clears throat> Going along, just got done watering them too. I mean, giving them their uh, one to one mixture, so their syrup. So, yeah. I'm probably gonna open this that hive up a little bit, you know, open their entrance way up. Here is the uh, second hive. They use a little bit of a larger one. I put, I gave these guys that. So I'm wondering if I should enlarge the other two. Better traffic. See some coming in with pollen and that. They really don't even care I'm even here. Yep, there's one going in fully loaded. I still have sunflowers going. I mean, I got a bunch of, uh, I mean, goldenrod is already starting, so they're working on that. Let's go over to our other one here. This one, need, this one I just got done with. So probably gonna, I probably should open this one up. They still don't like the fact that I'm here at the moment, but so <clears throat> so I'm still using the 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 waters that I have. I'm still running a one to one. I'm running the one to one mixture. They're still building some comb, so yeah. they're all working themselves, uh, working. So, so I got a deep on the bottom. I've got another deep. I mean, uh, another one up on top. I'm not really using it for honey. I'm using it more for uh, so that, you know they can expand for brood. Then I have the uh, the vent, which you know you can see right there. I mean, I only had one day all summer here. I mean, we're in Western New York. One day all summer where we had any bearding going on, very little, really. So, yeah. we got a little sweaty or something like that down there, wandering around. But this is just short. Not really doing much. So I filled all the waters up. It takes about a gallon and almost a gallon and three quarters to fill them. So let me just do a quick pop top on one on this one here. These guys like me. So everything popped up. Set that down. So that nobody's ever watched these. So they have a uh, a pollen patty here they're eating. Since stuff is, it's starting to get a little more scarce. Um, they have a water which holds about you know, it's like I said it says two and a half gallons. It holds roughly about a gallon and three quarters. So, yeah. so like I said, I'm not making this quick. They they have done a good job. You can. If you really look down in there, I mean, they've done some uh, some building on these upper combs. I mean, some a lot of this one here, this one here, they've done a lot of building on. Not so much on these two, on these outer ones. But you know, they're these are only they're from June. I mean, no, uh, I got them the week of the Fourth of July, so. The only, I, like I said, I'm the I, first year keeper here. I'm not trying to get any honey. I'm just trying to get them through the winter. And then next year, I may uh, add a couple more. Because, I mean, we do have a large chunk of you know, land and stuff like that. So, yep. These can be found. I mean, I like these. I mean, I know a bunch of people run those, uh, the mason jar feeders and all that. But, I mean, I just dropped that in there and it's just there, you know takes up the you know it takes up two hot you know two frames but I still have eight just like you know people who are gonna run you know eight frames in that so so 
pretty much it. This little guy here, he's just hanging out on me. Just resting. Wondering what I'm doing. I think I, I think I still have some sugar water on me is what it is. So, But <clears throat> I haven't posted much lately. You know, it's not many people, you know, there's, there's a lot more more experienced keepers out there. But this is just my quick little journey through year one. You know, I'm going to continue with my, uh, you know, feeding them some pollen and some protein patties. I have not had any mites, you know, mite or um, moth issues here yet. So, I'm just scanning around, taking a look. I'll watch this video later and I'll, I'll check them out. So, 